And let's bring in Sabina Klein. She is a professor of strategy and family business at the European Business School. Ms. Klein, are family businesses better able to withstand this recession? Some of them are, some aren't. Those who have done their homework prior to the crisis will withstand. They have customers and they know how to serve them. They have employees that are motivated to serve those customers and they've got their finance straight. The others probably won't survive the crisis. Okay, so we've got, you know, we've got these, these two classes of family businesses yes. right now. It's the ones that prepared, the ones that didn't. Here in Germany, we're expecting about, um, about half a million more unemployed people before the end of the year. Do you think most of those job cuts are going to come from big companies and not from family-run businesses? I can't foresee that, but again, uh, I would assume that it will come for, from those companies who are dependent on the financial market to a great extent at the moment. You know, it's interesting. Um, family businesses here in Europe, particularly here in Germany, are not reporting dramatic drops in sales. And just a few days ago, right here in Germany, more than 200 family business entrepreneurs gathered in the western German town of Bonn. It was a summit of family businesses from across Germany. They gathered to show solidarity and strength in the crisis. Now, 60% of all jobs in Germany are created by family businesses. Ms. Klein, let me ask you, for the worker, is that somewhat of an insurance policy when you go to work for a family business? Well, if you know that your boss wants to be in that same co uh, company for the next 20 years, that is somehow different compared to an anonymous uh, company where the boss changes every five years. Yes, I would say so. That actually makes a family business more attractive than a multinational corporation in the age of globalization, doesn't it? It does. Makes us all wish that we had a, a little st a store around the corner that where we could work. Uh, well, we are not talking about only little stores around the corner. If you're thinking of those family businesses that gathered at Bonn, mm -hmm. those are multinationals themselves. So they are serving the needs of uh, customers around the globe, but they do it in a very, very personal way. And they are not running to the government right now asking for bailout money like a lot of big corporations are doing. What do you say to that? Should the government be rescuing certain sectors of the economy? If the gov government invests a um, huge amount of money into sick companies, they might make those who are healthy in the same sector sick too. So I would really ask them to refrain from that and let the family businesses and all other businesses work. What do you say about the auto industry, for example? Because I know there are a lot of smaller family businesses that depend on the survival of the auto industry. That's true. But if we've got a market that has 77 million cars potentially made per year, now we needed 50 million prior to the crisis. And now there are some forecasts that we go down to 35 million mm -hmm. cars per year. You can't save this kind of industry and yes, of course, there are lots of family businesses that are supplying the car industry and they will have to look for different markets. Yeah, we'll have to definitely see what happens as this plays out. Ms. Klein, thank you very much for talking with us.